wrapping up and farmers have barely had time to go from planting to crop scouting. WCLA3's Ag reporter Stu Ellis has more in this morning's report from the farm. Jason Carr, an agronomist for Bayer and for the Illinois Soybean Association, says watch out for bee leaf beetles. For example of what people might find, let's say scouting early. So I assume uh, uh, those uh, curious little bean leaf beetles, uh, they're probably hungry by now. <laughs> they're, they haven't been fed for a long time. That's something that's probably uh, the early beans are going to get hit pretty hard. Yeah, that's right. And. Uh, you know, we found that out a few years ago. We planted some beans in early April, and they were up, I think, probably a week or two before anything else around was up. I think every bean leaf beetle within 200 miles found us. <laughs> they did some serious damage. And the target for bean leaf beetles are those soybean fields that were planted before the cold weather. And with the help of the 70-degree temperatures the past couple of days, they've emerged and are now ready for the bean leaf beetle onslaught. Jason Carr says they're the most likely to be the serious problem when the first generation appears and attacks the earliest emerging soybean fields. However, neonic seed treatments provide early season protection, and by the time treatments have lost their effectiveness, there generally are enough leaves on the soybeans to make up for any foliage loss during the feeding. It's extremely rare for the second generation to cause economic impact because by the time it emerges, the plants have plenty of leaves and can withstand quite a bit of feeding. Illinois Extension entomologist Nick Sider says bean leaf beetles also spread bean pod model virus that reduces yield, and that's even more concerning problem caused by the bean leaf beetles. That's our report from the farm. I'm Stu Ellis with WCIA3, your local news